you are still watching Ways Down National. No apologies, period day is observed every year on June 9. For far too long, people who menstruate have been shamed and made to feel guilty simply for having periods. So we live in a culture that teaches us from a young age that periods are something that should be hidden and not discussed in public, uh, which is, uh, of course, an insane concept considering that half of the world's population have periods. I think even more than half now. Now, this important day seeks to dismantle the culture that has made uh, menstruators ashamed of their own bodies. Periods are healthy, they are important and natural. So it's time to do away with these old um, patriarchal notions and stop all the apologies, you know, that's on period. Me. Let me put the attitude there. So this, speaking about this period, I have a story. I decided that every time I go to a supermarket to get my sanitary pads, I will not even put it in the basket. I will carry it and I will hold it like this. Because like, literally, like you, you, I feel like a lot of women are ashamed to buy yeah. tampons, buy these things. Without it, even you that is looking at me, you will not be alive. Because you need... A, a woman to go through that period cycle for her to be able to even get pregnant. Yeah. Now, to, not to even talk about having a child, right? So I don't understand why people are being stigmatized, you know, when they're on their monthly, um, monthly men menstrual cycle and all of that. It doesn't make any sense. You know, so these days, I'm really like, I'm out for you. If you look at me, I look at you back. <laughs> I remember when I went to one supermarket, I went to get my, I went to, because I buy in bulk, right? I, so I wanted to replace my, the man was just looking at me, I was looking at him back. You know, why are you looking at me? <laughs> like, have I committed a crime? Exactly. You know, I shouldn't be ashamed to get, to, get. Um, to get sanitary pads and all of that. So I think, you know, this is a very important day. Not many people understand the stigma some people have to go through, especially, again, for girls. Maybe, I mean, thank God but for sanitary pads now. Yeah. That No, sanitary pads now, the way they are designed. You remember the sanitary pads that in those days that you are always checking whether you're stained, you know, and all of that. So mm -hmm. let me just give you a hint. When you see me in all black for the week, for three days, five days. We know that's <laughs> But, you know, I, I mean, it, it, at least, thankfully, it's, it's getting easier. But, you know, it might be funny now, but it wasn't funny for some, a lot of people. I know that um, I, I spoke to a young lady that started this fantastic idea to create reusable pads, right? And guess what? This reusable parts, she had to, she took them to the IDPs, you know, they make them with very, very hygienic, you know. Once you clean it up and all of that, it's as good as new for use again. I think you can use it for a very long period. There's a, there's a mechanism for it. Don't, don't twist your face. I remember part of what she said doing her research, a lot of young girls drop out of school, you know, or they miss exams if they are going to, if they are in, on their monthly cycle because they couldn't even afford you see them using leaves. You see them using like thorn clothes. Wow. I mean, it's there's a lot that goes around the period, and not to talk about the emotions. Like literally, yeah, these days I'm trying to also pay attention to my emotions. But when yeah. you see me very cranky and it's all yeah, very moody and all, it's just that home. So there's a lot already that I'm going through. Don't come and add your own looking at me because I am on my menstrual cycle. Please, it doesn't make any sense. I think I've spoken too long about it. But do you have any story you want to share? Um, no, except for the fact that, yes, um, people, some ladies have taken it to the stream. I saw a video at one point, one woman wearing just her panties and period walking on the street. I'm like, I know no, you're trying to create a but that's, that's too, too much. much. That's too much. That's too much. But I think it's an important conversation. You know? Absolutely. I, think I even think companies too should also like one day, a month, just to cause that. Jennifer, I was recently lodged in a hotel and I was actually looking at it that because I was on my on my monthly circle, mm -hmm. right? I was not looking at it that ah, there's no provision. There's no pad. Like the way you have all those small shampoos and all those mm -hmm. things. Well, they usually have um so they have this, the bags to be able to put the, the sanitary yeah. pad, right? But you know, I think it's the same as the funny thing as well. How if you notice, you never see a toothbrush. 
No, they are toothbrushes. But majority. You see, you see, they have dental kits. You always have to request for it. For it? Yeah. Well, it depends on the hotel. But they have dental kits. They have, van they have vanity, vanity kits. Kit. They have shower cap. They have everything. Shampoo, all those and things. The sanitary bag. So I'm saying they have the sanitary bag to, no, to keep the used ones. Yeah. I, I think it doesn't make... Since you're putting tissue there, just put just one. one. You know? Let's start. Maybe it will give hotels idea for something. Because it makes me feel included. Because that day, yeah. genuinely, I was ill. And you forgot. Right? And... I had gotten to the hotel before I remember that. Oh, you need to said, oh shoot! So I couldn't. So I had to go and find alternatives, right? Imagine if there was a sanitary pad there. Mm -hmm. Hey, Fair. we don't talk and finish, but we're going to still bring this topic back and uh, probably bring in an expert because again, I want to teach young girls how to be hygienic when mm -hmm. they are on their periods. Again, yeah. part of the stigma again is some people are not able to clean up properly mm. you know so they start to go off and have it's, those bad it's so, off it's so hard right? yeah so yeah so I, it's... I, I can't hide it mm. we have a um office assistant and she really does struggle with body odor mm. it's so bad if she steps outside you know sweats a little and comes back yeah i we i think they've spoken to her before because i've told my manager and she's spoken to her before but I don't see any form of improvement. Mm. So what I just do is I just carry a freshener and I just start spraying. Because mm. I can't. Like, it's a very tiny space that we're all staying in. Like, you're a lady. Why can't I can smell? So that's the thing. You know, Some that, of them don't know smell. how. Hygiene, right? Especially when you're in a monthly circle. Not many people understand it. My mom, I'm just blessed that my mom taught us well. Do you understand? Not many people understand hygiene. So I, I think, again, part of what would help it's also whilst we're talking about people accepting the fact that women would have periods let's also teach the women how to take care of them themselves yeah. mm -hmm. whilst they're on their period nobody needs to know that yeah, anything yeah, is going yeah, on yeah. yeah okay i think i've <laughs> taken everything off my chest <laughs> Glory, what did you find first in the news um it's about wired exam so it reads no fewer than 20 school officials allegedly aiding and abating examination malpractice have been arrested by the West African Examination Council in its ongoing West African Senior School Certificate Examination for School Candidates. The council said that the arrests were made in various parts of the country. The head national office of the council, Mr. Patrick Aragon, disclosed this on the sidelines of a monitoring exercise he carried out in school in some schools on Thursday in Lagos. So this just, um, we've spoken on this show before. And I think I will like, mention this particular, <laughs> yeah. yeah, they arrested some people with Medjugorje and all of that, yeah. So these are the things that just give bad names to our educational system. I don't understand the reason why you you would collect money to assist children um, during exams. What of those who are probably studying so hard? It's just a whole... But, this, so, but I remember when I took this story, <laughs> I said something. And I said it goes back to us as parents. My son is writing YA, right? And I can tell you for free that not many parents are comfortable just letting the child be and write their exams. Parents want to, they want to be sure that the child is, you know, what are you doing? What did you write today? You know, and all of that. My question on the past two things, how was today? How did it go? And that's it, right? But a lot of parents are actually the ones that cause some of these malpractices to linger or to escalate. Because now, who are the people providing the money to pay these people? The parents. parents. Now, again, parents also look at track records of schools. They say, okay, you know what? These schools, they last while, they had straight A's and all of that. Because of that, they take their children there. So the schools have said, okay, you know what? If that's the case, we'll make sure that we have straight A's by hook or by a crook. So what? that's what a lot of schools are doing. Aiding and abetting for, uh, what's called exam oh, malpractice because, again, they want to keep that status to say, oh, they have clean records when it comes to exam excellence because that's all parents think about. So if we reverse that, and I think it will come more from the, 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 from the parents. They stop, you know, that idea of we must pass, we must pass, and all of that. And let the child truly go through the system. You know, if a child goes through a proper education, trust me, the child will do excellently well, regardless. Do you understand? I know this from experience. That's how I've trained my children. You know, we don't discuss exam in my house because there's really no point. If you know what you did from beginning of the term, Till now, we don't need to be discussing what's what's happening in your exams. You would you would do well. So I think it comes from the parents, and I think we need to bring someone yes. from Waek, yeah. you know, also to come probably sensitize people 
these things are not necessary because some of them are yeah. going to jail. Some of them are going oh, to jail. Oh, will they? They yes. should. I, I, I hope no, they, they said they will prosecute them. Mm. Mary, <laughs> your story. <laughs> Um, President Tinubu signs Electricity Act 2023 into law, empowers states, private companies to generate power. The President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has signed the 2023 Electricity Act, which is a replacement for the Electricity and Power Sector Reform Act of 2005 into a law. The newly enacted law will demonopolize Nigerian electricity generation, transmission, and distribution of electricity at the national level. This new law will empower states, companies, and individuals to generate, transmit, and distribute electricity in the country. Recall that the Electricity Act 2023 was initially passed by lawmakers in July 2022 to allow states to issue licenses to private investors who can operate mini grids and power plants within the state. But the act precludes interstate and transnational electricity distribution. The Nigerian Energy Regulatory Commission, NEC, would be able to govern the energy industry within Nigeria under the Electricity Act 2023 without prejudice to the state's authority to pass laws, create electricity makers, and regulate those markets. Mm. Basically, we can now generate our own. <laughs> okay. Power. I'm very happy about this. Yes. And if this comes to pass, even if the electricity bills might go off go the roof off, yeah. and all of that, but at least we can really beat our chest to say, okay, you know yeah, what, we now we'll start to have power, you know, constant power. Yeah. So I was just going to take my story. A young girl is trying to beat Hilda Bachi. <laughs> hey, it's saying that she wants to do 120 hours. My own is the food. I don't know if they have the pictures or something, but the food, right? You know, the food of those uh, th that I saw, it, it was oh sugar <laughs> and the presentation and all of that. I think people don't understand that there is something that is called, uh, what's it called, planning. I was speaking to someone yesterday that said, oh, she wanted to start something. I said, see, the most important job before the event itself is the plan. You must put a structure in place, you must put a plan in place, you must put, you know, she just set up, you could see this is a kitty standard of, of the cookathon. But hopefully, she started, let's see how far she goes. But I was just going to say to her that the oh, truth is, you. part of what took Hilda that uh, far was because people oh, came en masse to support her. Because, yeah. you know, when you see people, okay, I don't want to disappoint, you know, but this one... When I saw the food, it was looking like what I don't know. Well, my question is why now? Like, just allow <laughs> Hilda to enjoy the no. moment. Yeah, I don't right. understand why we are like this. No, like, we're just like, enjoying. The last record is being set. Another one will be. I mean, just calm down. There is time for you to set your <laughs> own record. Calm down. <laughs> she wants to take advantage of the, the way <laughs> that yeah. is going on. But hey, Ekiti hey, again, what's her name? I don't even know her name. Sha, we are rooting for you. We will be monitoring the story. If you are looking for the story, go to the Punch um, newspaper. You will find the story there. But we are looking for you. I mean, we are rooting for you. 120 hours. Kudos. May God help you. Uh, her name is Dami Lola Ade Perusi. Yeah? In the Kisi State, or a local government. We are rooting for you. Nice. So let the governor also encourage her. If you see the food there. It was not, that's not something I would taste. I wish they would give you. Kill her vibe. Can they kill her vibe? <laughs> On that note, support herself. Let's discuss big performance. <laughs> Stay with us, we'll be right back. <laughs>